Wait for that drop. Give me that drop, baby. Whoa. What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about sound in the Supra. So there was a really good write-up in the Supra forums. I'm going to leave it linked down below. Shout out to, I believe his name is Tom or Tada. Shout out to the gentleman who, who made this post who actually went through the entire sound system. He basically just found a fix or like a DIY to make the OE sound system sound a lot better. This is a common complaint with the Supra that there are some rattles and the sound system just doesn't really sound that great from factory. I don't think this is gonna solve everything, but I am going to try and tackle as much as possible. I do have some of the stuff that is already in, like some foam padding, some foam wadding, and then some adhesive parts and these little speaker cutouts that we're gonna be putting into the car to kind of show you how we can bring it up to speed. I'm also going to show you my current settings for the equalizer that I also got from his forum post. It seems like this greatly helped the way that his car sounds. So I'm just going to go off of what he wrote and see if it actually makes a difference. Let's hop in the car. I'm going to show you the current equalizer settings that I have in the car. And obviously it's going to be hard for you guys to like really hear a difference because it's through the camera, but I will give you the best review that I can possible and let you know if it actually made a difference. I will have everything that you need to do this linked down below there will be some diagrams and stuff as well as the actual full forum write-up if you want to read through it his write-up is very specific and shows exactly how to do everything so so if you're doing this at home and you really want to like figure it out step by step make sure you read that because it was a very well done write-up and he's very specific about everything so I got a bunch of foam wadding I got three different bags of foam wadding and then some one inch thick foam cushion uh, there's gonna be a few different things we use that for but I'll show you that later and then these are actual little like speaker ports, I guess you could say. We're gonna end up cutting these and using these in the back of the sub box. So this is how he has it set up on his, uh, went into tone and then down here, it looks like you're gonna turn off surround. In speed volume, this is gonna be set all the way down. Uh, this stuff doesn't really matter. I just set that up how I want, like parking sensors and gong. But as far as the equalizer, this is how I have mine currently set up. And so apparently this is optimized for the changes that we're about to make to the rear sub box. Just listen to something here. So these are the settings that he has on his right now. And it, it it sounds a lot better than the way that it comes from the factory. One of my biggest complaints when I first got this car was the sound. It just did not sound that good. And that's just because of the way that the equalizer is set up from the factory and all of the ports in the subwoofer box. It just isn't set up that well. But I will say if you just do these equalizer setups, that is definitely going to improve the way that your sound system sounds. Also important to note that he um, coded out the active sound design which I also do like on all my BMWs and Supra. If you guys are interested in how to do that it's very simple I'll leave a link right here and that will show you how to do it with Beamer code. Anyways um equalizer sounds really good I can only imagine that it's going to sound better once we fix up the sub box. Let's hop in the back and get started on that part of the project. All right so I'm going to pull the top cargo piece off real quick. And so what we are working on is actually this piece down here. Now I'm going to throw up a diagram right here, and this is also in that forum post, you're gonna see what we're gonna end up doing to this thing. We're gonna actually end up cutting two holes in it for the exhaust ports or the uh, sound to escape from. And then behind here, there is a metal enclosure, and that metal enclosure is what houses all of the sound. Obviously, the subs sit on top. So inside of that metal enclosure is where we are gonna be putting some of this foam, as well as on the outside of it, the back portion, but you will see all of that when I do it. There's also a few diagrams to cut this stuff 
so it fits appropriately. Now my setup isn't gonna be identical to his. There are a few things that I'm still waiting on that aren't here yet um, that I couldn't get locally and I need to get some speaker mesh so I can cut that stuff out and put it on and then also uh, the Dynamat. I'm waiting on Dynamat. I will go ahead and do that. I'll probably just do that in like a separate video but I think that this part alone, just from adding this part, it's going to help immensely. So I just figured, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and start this little project and then I'll update you guys down the road once I actually finish it but for the most part, this should make a big difference. So first we want to remove this trunk piece. So there have actually been quite a few people in the forums who have already done this and they said that it made a really big difference. So pretty excited to hear how much better it sounds. Um, next down here, we're gonna end up removing this piece down here. There's a little push pin clip right here, pop that out and then the whole thing should just pop right off. should just pop right out. Yes, sir. Just like that. That down. So what we're gonna be doing is drilling out two circles right there for these pieces. These are the little speaker ports that I bought. They're two inches in diameter. I am gonna have to cut them because they're too deep. These are what I'm gonna use. It's gonna look something like that once they're in there. You can see in there, um, that's where all of the sound is traveling out of. So underneath the speakers and through these holes. And so the foam that we're gonna be using, some of the foam is gonna go in between the metal uh, box and then these little hardware pieces. And then also the wadding, we're gonna be putting a bunch of wadding back into the hole over there to kind of fill up that empty cavity in there, which should greatly enhance the way that this sounds. Once we get the Dynamat, we will line up the Dynamat back here on all of the exposed trunk parts. That should make a big difference too. That will probably also help with the exhaust noise coming through from underneath. This is a full Valvetronic Catless exhaust system and it's basically straight piped. So when it's open, it is very loud. Now the great thing is obviously I can just shut the valves and it's quiet, but when it is uh, open, it is extremely loud. And over time that can like loosen plastic and things and just create more creaks. So I think it does make sense to go ahead and put some Dynamat back here. It's only gonna help with the sound and it's gonna help with reducing the exhaust noise coming through the cabin. That's what's on deck. I did buy a bunch of this wadding, which I think I might end up using the wadding for the inside of the box. Really what I want to do is fill up this box as much as possible. There's not really a whole lot of room to work with. Um, the way that they have it written up is like there's a specific size and the way you cut it out and then you have to like shove it in there and make it fit inside, which <laughs> is not an easy task. I think that, I don't know. I think it's gonna be just as easy to take the wadding and push it in on each side. And you should be able to fill up as much as you really need to, to help out with that sound. But I'll let you guys decide. You can you can do it either way. The diagram's up there. The full read up is on there. So you can, you can decide how you guys wanna do it. But I will end up cutting three, these pieces for the back part to go through there. So let's get into it. to connect to your drill and then one of these bad boys to pilot the hole. Basically, you're going nine and a half inches in as you guys saw on the diagram. Nine and a half inches in and then uh, inch and a half down. And I made a little circle there and that will effectively be the center point for each one. So that should pretty much do it for us. Other than that, that is basically all we need to do for this part. We will use for the back of these to hold them in place onto here. Probably end up using some uh, black zip ties and just zip it. And just zip tie each one around the back of these to hold it. <laughs> Thank you.
So this side, when I did it, it didn't rip this out, but this side, it caught it and ripped it out. Not a big deal. I think what I'll do is just use some, either a little bit of glue to like adhere it right back onto here, or just some double-sided tape. Either way, it should be fine. But other than that, this seems to work pretty good. Got my circles. They're gonna go in just like that. Other side, going in just like that. All right, got all this stuff buttoned up. Uh, I ended up using adhesive around the exterior of each one and then a zip tie as well, just for extra reassurance. Looks kind of terrible in the back, but up front, the only part you'll see, looking super clean. Might shave the inside of these out with some sandpaper just to get them nice and clean. Anyways, so that's what we end up with for that part. Uh, now let's head into here and get some foam cut. Better now. Okay, we've got everything we need now. These slits will make sense in a second here. Um, you guys can cut that however you want. It probably doesn't need to be precisely perfect. It's foam, so you'll be able to move it around as you wish. But to give you guys an idea of how this is gonna work, each of these is going to get stuffed back here. This part, the slit part, is gonna go inside of that. This part, obviously, on that side, and this part on that side. So it's gonna stuff up there like that and then the center piece, and then the other piece. It's gonna cover up all of that. Before we go ahead and do that though, I'm gonna start um, throwing in, now this is the part that I'm doing a little bit differently. On theirs, they had like a cutout piece that you would stuff inside of that. Whereas I'm taking some of this wadding and I'm gonna put that inside of the sub box. I'm just gonna stuff, I have three rolls of this stuff. I'm gonna stuff three rolls into it until I feel like it's nice and cushioned, and that should honestly do everything we need it to do as far as like the soundproofing. I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. I saw someone else who did it this way as well and it seemed like it worked, so it seems a little bit easier. Um, I'm gonna start with that and then I'll go ahead and put those foam pieces I just cut in there. Okay, so I was able to get two in there and it's packed with foam. So I think that that's gonna do the trick. I mean, all we're trying to do is stuff that up so there's no open room for the sound to reverberate. That I think is gonna be perfect. Um, so I'm not gonna use that other one, don't need it. Now we can go ahead and throw in the foam. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got it dialed in. So I used a little bit of that wadding inside of there and then everything else filled out really well. So what you would do at this point, which I am gonna order some, you'd wanna order just a little square of speaker mesh or just like a normal, you can just cut the mesh out as well if you wanted to. That way you also don't see like the foam wadding coming through because you will be able to see it obviously with this being hollow now. So I'm gonna order some of that. I just couldn't find any local. Uh, order some of that and then put that in there and then that part will be complete. It'll look really good. And then obviously once my Dynamap gets in, I'll line the Dynamap area with that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece back in, button it back up and then fire it up and see what it sounds like. Doesn't it look good? So you see what I mean? You can see the white through there. So we'll go ahead and get some speaker mesh and throw it in there. Put this little fun guy back in. It looks so OEM, I love it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up, get in the car and see what she sounds like. All right. Drop, baby. Whoa. 
holy crap this is way all right i chose that song because it's a copyright free song i use all my music with epidemic sound and that is a epidemic sound song it's called oi O-O-Y-Y calling me. Dude, it sounds a lot better. Like, it's so much more controlled sounding. The bass used to be, it used to distort really bad. And I think the reason that it was distorting so bad is because of all of that open space back there. So when you close that off and put all that sound deadening in there, it helps a lot with uh, less distortion and less reverberation. It's more controlled. Another banger, another banger by Oi. made a huge difference. I bet you that even like those equalizer settings, if you haven't done that, just do that. That makes a big difference as well. But for how cheap and fast I did that, 100% worth it. I think that adding that Dynamat and those little screens is really gonna top it off and make it perfect. But overall, like 10 out of 10, awesome job on a good DIY. All right, guys, so that is it, um, so far at least, until my Dynamat comes in and the little screen things that I'm gonna put on. But as far as like a DIY and easy, like cheap and easy fix for the sound in this car, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'm gonna link everything down below that I used, including the forum, if you wanna like read the whole write up and go through it like I did. It took me like an hour to do. It was honestly super, super easy. Like anyone can do this, don't be afraid to do it. And for how much it actually improved the sound of the car, 10 out of 10 recommend. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I do appreciate you so much. Make sure you check out the website if you want any merch, grab anything. I appreciate the support, but I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.